The U.S. government is now confirming that alleged Facebook fraudster Paul Seglia, who went on the lam from Western New York three years ago, has now been captured. And we were first to break this story this morning after several sources told me that Seglia had been arrested by authorities in South America. Well, Channel 2's Dave McKinley now has the latest and what may lie ahead for Seglia. Dave? Well, Mary Alice, this poster right here will soon be changed from wanted to captured ending an international odyssey and possibly setting up an international chess match. Lawyers we contacted who'd previously represented Seglia were surprised to hear of his arrest as they, like most everyone else, hadn't heard from him for three years. This filing made late today with the U.S. District Court in Manhattan by the Justice Department now confirms the story two on your side Scott Levin broke on Twitter this morning that Seglia had indeed been captured hours earlier in Ecuador. Seglia, you might recall, brought a suit against Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg in 2010, claiming he was entitled to half the media empire under a deal the two made when it was in its formative stages. But two years later, Seglia found himself charged when the feds alleged his suit was based based on a forged contract. While out on bail in his home in Wellsville in 2015, he removed his court-ordered ankle bracelet, attached it to a ceiling fan-like contraption in his home, and skipped out with his family and dog. One of those who represented him looks forward to his return. The only thing I can hope for is that we actually do have a trial in New York City, and Mark Zuckerberg has to take the stand under oath and prove a case for a change. According to sources, Seglia's wife had grown tired of living in Ecuador and tipped off her sister, who then tipped off someone else who eventually tipped authorities. Now, he claimed when he ran away that he was threatened with his life and that he had a letter. So we wanted him to produce the letter if he has it. I mean... You have to understand, we've been in the dark for three years as well. According to the Justice Department, Seglia will be presented in court in the Ecuadorian capital of Quito within 24 hours. That is, of course, so extradition proceedings can begin, but Seglia's return is no lock. While Ecuador has had an extradition treaty with the U.S. since 1873, it's been cited as rather flimsy, and its government notoriously uncooperative with ours. A Marshal Service spokesperson referred all inquiries to Ecuadorian authorities, but said the Marshal Service was not involved in the actual arrest and that, as of a couple of hours ago, Seglia was not yet in their custody. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.